Here are Danny and Bloodhound once again, and today, the smart guys over at the Battlefield Easter Egg community have solved both the Angel Sighting and the Belly of the Beast dog tag. On River Somm near the factory, there is a console hidden under the ground, and you can access it by blowing it up with C4. It has five buttons and a confirmation lamp. With those five buttons, you have to spell out a few different numbers. The first number is 0627. When the light is on, that means it is a dot. When the light is off, it means it's a dash. So that will start of as zero lights on and confirm at the lamp. Then the first light off and the last four on, of course, confirm. Then switch it around with the first two lamps on and the last three off. Don't forget to confirm. And as last, two lights off and three lights on. After you've confirmed it, you should hear a spooky sound and see some Morse code. Don't bother with the Morse code and go to the A flag near the British spawn. At the house, throw some limpet mines or some TNT near the chimney and climb up there like your Santa Claus and look for yet another button. If you pressed it, you should hear, like always, another spooky sound. Go back to the console and you'll notice that the lights are now green, which means that it's good. The code is 03222110, which we found by looking at the new and improved Escalation skin, which means for the code, the first one is all five off, then the second one is the first three on and two off, and the third time is the first two on, then do that three times in a row. Number six and seven are having only the first one on and the other four off, and as last, everything off. If you confirm it with the lamp, the lights should turn red and you'll unlock the dog tag. Which seems to be relating to Caporetto and the statues near the church. Equip it just to be sure and get ready to move. When you make your way to a ranked and empty Caporetto server, go to the church where you see a bunch of statues. We mark them 1, 2, 3, and 4. 1 is on the left, 2 is in the middle, 3 is on the right, and 4 is in the back near the Livens projector. Let's start off with number 3. Shoot off part of its wing like we do right here, then go to number 1 and shoot off the head. Go to number 4 and basically remove the statue from the map, but keep the stand alive. And at last, shoot away at the torso of the middle statue named number two. After you've done all that correctly, you should hear the sound. But you aren't completely done yet. Go to the statue near the edge of the map to claim your dog tag. Equip it and go to Passchendaele. Somewhere near the German spawn at the E flag, you can find a trench. To be honest, finding a trench on Passchendaele isn't all that special, however this one has been graced by JJJU. If you go under the walkway and destroy the sign, you can see the famous skull of JJJU, which can be found across the older Masterman Easter eggs in Battlefield 1. And then in the corners of the entrance you could find two plungers that make a noise when you activate them. If you spell out the word unknowable in Morse, it grants you access to a very small hole. See it as a World War I elevator. With the left button being a dot and the right button being a dash. We will put the sequence on the screen because we know not everyone is fluent in Morse even after all of those easter eggs. Now make sure everyone who wants to go down below is inside and press the big button. There is more smoke and you fall down. You made it into the tunnels where you could go in four directions, but which direction to take? No idea yet. If you press certain buttons, you fall down into a new area, which is good I suppose, but we got no idea as to what order you have to press them. It's a bit like the Lost Woods in Zelda Ocarina of Time, and there's also different kinds of smoke. Green, black, and red. 
green is normal gas, and red kills you even faster. They might also indicate that if you get closer or if you press the right button, like green is go through, or red is if you suck. But that's all speculation. Also, if you die, you hear this really weird clock sound, but no idea what it means. At the moment, we have not solved this step yet, but I'm sure the recent dog tags will help us out. But anyway, that's all we got for today. This was Danny and Bloodhound. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell for more, and we'll see you on the battlefield.